come to a couple of op shops with me or thrift stores and we are going to check out what is in store and also a haul scattered throughout the video and then a bit of a collection at the end as well with everything that I did find. First we're in a little shop called To Save the Children's and I love always looking at their linen type area. I love seeing doilies and things like that. I'm sure this organza set was from Avon. I recognize the packaging and some more tea towels and other things. I'm always looking at linen because I'm into aprons at the moment and looking for material where I could maybe make some aprons or anything that is already pre-existing. Had a look in this little basket here in the stationery that always have little bits and pieces. I'm looking for a big hole puncher, like a six hole puncher. You never know, you can find anything in an op shop. And I did see this little ring binder and I seriously thought about picking it up. It was only $2 and I thought about it for some budgeting stuff to keep track of receipts and spending and other stuff like that. I'm still umming and ahhing about it, but I left it for now. There are some blue plates that were here, absolutely gorgeous. I have no need for them, but oh, I really love to have them because I think they would have looked so good with some food decoration, but we need plates for a purpose, not just for decoration. And these glass jars that were here, I talked about these in another vlog, that we have these where our tea and coffee station is with sugar, and I purchased a set of three ages ago. Um, and I recently got another one free from the buy nothing group so that was really good because one had broken this skirt I was looking at was tempted for maybe making into an apron because the colors were really pretty but for seven dollars I didn't think it was really worth it to be able to cut it up I went to the RSPCA store and I saw this little dress up skirt and I thought how cute would that look as an apron like a 1950s rock and roll but again, the price just really turned me off of cutting it up. So I just left it and I hope that someone can get it as a gorgeous dress up in need. This dress was gorgeous. Look at that print. The price as well, though, just threw me off a little bit. $8. I really loved that. I loved the ruffle at the bottom. That would have made a perfect apron. I'm pretty sure I also talked about this in the last vlog as well. This uh, squirrel Udi <laughs> Nissa from our small footprint is always talking about being a squirrel. Tangent thoughts. The price wasn't too bad actually and it looked pretty in excellent condition. I did find an apron that was here. One side was an apron and the other side had a towel attached to the side of it. Not really my print even though I was quite impressed with it so I left it there hopefully it finds a good owner and I love these ponchos I was thinking about getting one I really loved this one but I find that they can just be a little bit inconvenient at times especially getting in now the car seat belts and everything else and then this red one caught my eye as well. I wasn't really impressed with the stripe and the colors down the bottom, but I liked the red with the black collar. And even though I don't actually need any more winter gear, it never hurts to look. I'm forever looking. I did, of course, however, find the linen area and I had a really good through look through here. I put the phone down so I didn't record everything. There seemed to be some bigger pieces of material here for uh, upholstery and things like that and there's smaller packets with little bits and pieces that people have obviously got scraps from making things so they've been all packaged together so you can't really tell how much of what material is in what bag um, and nothing really color wise caught my eye so I just left it all there I always have a look in the DVDs just because I like to look and of course I found a Tom Cruise DVD immediately just got home because I'm hungry. <laughs> Story of my life. There's a chicken sandwich inside with my name on it. I'm sure of it. So I did go to two little op shops. I went to Save the Children and the RSPCA. So for one dollar, I picked up this piece of material that's upside down. <laughs> Is that means I'm in distress? <sighs> so. I thought it would look good to maybe chop some of this up to have as pockets on an apron I can make because I'm into making aprons now even though I haven't made one since the first time but you know what we'll add it to the to-do list <laughs> and then 
the second one this was from the rspca i got the 169 story tree house by terry denton we i think this is the last book in the collection so i'm super happy because it was two dollars and this is normally like about twelve dollars in um big w and stuff so i'm super happy to uh, have this finished the collection a uh, bit of an early birthday present for my son but it's in excellent excellent condition so that will be exciting <clears throat> so let's go and find my chicken sandwich hello we are back sun is setting i just went to another op shop and i picked up this book jam drops and marble cake 60 uh well, i can't read it backwards 60 years of cwa award-winning recipes so the country women's association it says new south wales looks like pretty much a brand new book as well and from what i can gather it is all the people that have won the competitions and the ribbons over the years so it has 60 successful year i said that um but i'm flicking through this and it's like peach blossom cake i'm like maybe not butterscotch cake that's not too bad but then a gingerbread don't really eat that ginger cake don't eat that coconut cake don't eat that moist coconut cake still don't eat that ginger cake coffee cake i'd probably eat that uh neapolitan chocolate ripple cake that was the one thing that got me sold on the book <laughs> but then citrus sour cream cake lemon cake madeira cake orange and poppy seed cake orange butter cake i'm like this is going from bad to worse so for a dollar i bought a chocolate cake book <laughs> i'm sure there's other things in here oh shortbread there we go um oh let's have a look fruit roll no apricot roll date loaf no no this is not looking good honey and carrot healthy slice not healthy <laughs> we don't want healthy food mushrooms what okay health slice we don't want healthy food we want oh chocolate chip cookies there we go so there's at least three maybe four recipes <laughs> Oh, hands up who has sensory and texture needs i think the thing is though because i was raised eating a lot of this stuff and so now i'm just over it so we will make something and we'll let you know <laughs> uh. I went to Savers the other week and I'm always having a look at the little sugar and milk containers. We don't need any, but I just think they are so cute. I'm forever looking at them. They remind me of like a Victorian tea party and a high tea. This little set was absolutely gorgeous for the price. I think it's so good. I really should do a thorough come shop with me in Savers again. Would you like some milk with your tea? <laughs> okay, so anyway, we got a couple of things. I got the another barbie dvd we're collecting them it's one of the things that my daughter likes to collect and we got some more sims i think to finish our collection off now so we've got the sims 2 the deluxe we've got a sims 3 cover and the sims 3 late night now these were only a dollar each because all the books and the dvds were half price so thank you very much I got these Yu-Gi-Oh cards for my son for his birthday, so I'm just including them here. I know I've put them in the vlog, but I just shared because some people might see this video before my vlogs, and in case you missed it, I don't know, so I thought I would include it. It's just a bit of a mixture of cards. I don't know if there was anything specific in there. They didn't really look like it when he thumbed through them all, but he enjoyed having a few extra to add to his collection. Uh, I went to a different Save the Children op shop that was here and I was looking at this dress and the bottom of it caught my eye. I was thinking, how good would that look as an apron? 
<laughs> like the end of like a 1950s ruffle dress but I decided for the cost that probably just wasn't worth the effort to chop it all up I was nearly thinking that the front to keep it looking as a dress would be really nice if it was cheaper I would have picked it up but the cost just put me off a little bit I saw this overcoat jacket and I seriously thought about picking it up as a bit of a um, upcoming skit that I've got going as a bit of a a spy type yeah international agent <laughs> but then I had a look at the price and I thought that's not really worth it for maybe a five minute skit so I put it back into the DVDs because I always have like to have a look here and of course we have got a Top Gun all favorite movie of all time and then of course we found a couple of other Tom movies so I decided to put them together because you never know someone else could be looking for a collection and they might not know so there we go I've put collateral next to the mummy and on top of that we will put the Tom Cruise Top Gun and then they're all together I did see this commando hat in um, of the salvos I was in and I was really tempted to pick it up but again for the price it just yeah, I only need it literally for five minutes for a skit. So I might see if my local Buy Nothing group has one. And then I saw these containers, which are very similar to the ones that we already have. Um, we have square ones though. These are oval, but the seal is exactly the same. I really only need one, but they were selling all four as a set. So I've left them for now. And I saw Minnie Mouse at the op shop. I picked them up. I dropped everything as I was picking up to have a look. So I picked this up to show Rachel from One of a Dozen and Christy from This Mum at Home because I know they're big Disney fans. And um, they're in excellent condition. I wonder where they got them from. I saw this single boxing glove and I thought, what on earth am I going to do with that? But that nearly would have been cute to pick up to do an upcoming skit if Christy's looking for round two for the markdown challenge. And also I saw this massive cookie jar, which I was seriously thinking about getting because we need a bigger cookie jar for all the cookies that I make. I'm looking for a set container for the pantry that I can fit rice cakes in because we all know how quickly they dry out in the air. So I know exactly the container I'm looking for and isn't always the way when you go into an op shop and it's not there. I swear this container was there last week when I looked, but I was like, I don't need anything more, but I really want to get uh, another a container. Uh, so first at uh, this little church op shop, I got a whole stack of uh, Barbie DVDs and it was so funny because the guy says to me, oh, you've got your DVDs. That's really good. They're all 50 sets each. I said, oh, excellent. He goes, yes, really good for um, young lady like yourself. And I said, thank you so much. And then I went in to pay and she went, okay, so um, we got some DVDs, $2 each. And I said, oh, the guy out there just said 50 cents each. And the other lady with the name tag says, yeah, they're 50 cents each. And she's like, Mm -hmm. And then the guy comes in and she says to him, did you just say these were 50 cents each? And he says, yes, for the nice young lady. <laughs> and the woman says, stop telling people they're nice ladies. <laughs> You're costing us money. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for recognizing I'm a nice lady. <laughs> and then I've got this uh, a cheese thing because I'm told that it's amazing for making slices of cheese from a block of cheese. So I'm hoping that it will work really well. This was 20 cents. Don't leave the country. So I'm hoping that this uh, will be, uh, yeah, really good. And we've just been to Savers and I've bought some material because you know that I am into material and sewing at the moment new hyper fixation so i picked up this piece of material for 7.99 um, it's pretty big actually it's folded and folded and folded so i thought it would make perfect to make some aprons so still i'm told if you go like this from your nose to your arm that's one meter and then that's double of that. So I think this is be about two meters. And it says on the print, 
on the selvage. Is that what the end's called? I'm learning something new every day. Okay. Claremont design exclusively for home sorry collection by H and N. Fabrics pattern repeat 61 centimeters. If anyone knows anything about material and why they say that, what they do, let me know. I'm going to Google. Um, it's a thicker material, so as I said, perfect probably for aprons, but maybe for um, what do you call it? Upholstery or curtains? I don't know. I don't know. And then I also picked up this bag of material for five ninety nine. Whoops. Let's let's open it. I was intrigued by this blue piece. That's why I got it. Um, oh, there's more in there. So I've got like some flying pigs. <laughs> That's not a very big piece. I've got some red. Got a tiny little bit of green. <laughs> We've got some blue. Is that like a fat quarter? Is that how that... I don't know anything about sizing. And we've got some purple. It's probably half a fat quarter. We've got some blue, deep blue. This would be a fat quarter, all with a chunk missing out of it. I've uh, got some dog bones. And, oh, this is also why I picked it up, the hearts. So I was actually thinking this would be good for an apron. Oh, yes, it's a good size. Oh, I can't really show you that that is the length of an apron that would look so nice as an apron it's it's a bit see-through though I'd probably need to back it with something oh learning something new every day so there are my little two op shop finds I think for what was it six dollars I've lost the tag I'm really happy especially just to have that one piece but I think the blue pieces are really nice as well okay I have a collection of other things here that I have had over the past couple of weeks where I haven't filmed in store but I thought I would share my goodies with you because also I'm looking for your help on feedback on a couple of things so the first thing I need your help with I got this massive roll of material it was four dollars from the salvos it's a beautiful green print it's not very wide though. It's probably just under shoulder to shoulder. So I was thinking that I could maybe do this as an apron, but I was thinking of stitching two panels together uh, so it would be wide enough. I'm not sure, it might be thick enough. But then I also found this matching green material that was $2. So I was thinking this would be, look really good with pockets or this could be the apron and then this could be the pockets, but there's still heaps here to do something with. I was nearly thinking curtains, but my kitchen is gray and white, so I don't think that would match very well. But if you think of something else to make with this material, please let me know because you guys are really smart. Next up, I got this Milkshake Memories book. It was 50 cents. I don't know I'm not meant to be buying books but when I had a flip through this book you know it brought up ice cream straight away so I was like yes we'd have that some uh, grilled pita um, type wraps and it had in here a yeah, steak sandwich hot chicken rolls beef burgers fizzy drinks um, apple pie and ice cream like all the things that we would normally make and eat anyway so just lots of good old fashioned memory type recipe things so I picked it up for 50 cents oh it also had in here how to make Turkish delight that's one of my hubby's favorites so I'm keen to give that a go because um, this year I'd like to look at making a whole lot of stuff ourselves rather than just buying things from the shop. And then also it creates content for you guys. Question two, it says for the Turkish Delight it needs rose water. Is that just the Queen's base that you get in the supermarket? I will Google it, 
but what is it and is there an alternative because I don't want to buy it just for one recipe and then find out I can't make the thing so let me know many weeks ago I got a salad spinner it was three dollars and it spins I just haven't had time to use it or put a lettuce in it. It's been sitting in the back of my car. So I probably need to take it inside and wash it. Um, she said it's pretty much brand new. And they literally had just got it the second that I walked in. So bargain for me. Because I've been after one for a really, really long time. Even though we're coming into winter, we still like to have salad for our wraps and things. Next, I got this Tupperware pickle jar. It was $2.99 from Savers. So the lid just comes off. And the idea is that it comes up and it twists and it sits there. Do you remember the square ones where you pull them up? Well, they're not see-through, but I figured this one being see-through would be a little bit easier. Sometimes we have a little bit left over of beetroot and sometimes of peaches. And I thought if this was in the top shelf of the fridge and we can see into it, then I can make sure that something gets eaten because the taller square Tupperware one is just a little bit too tall for the top shelf. These are exactly the containers that we already have in the cupboard. We have this size and then we have the longer ones as well. This was from Savers again for $2.99. I just got it because it's taller and I thought the other biscuits could sit in here. The tall skinny wafer biscuits could sit in here or anything else that we find that is just a bit bigger than this one. We've got the space and it will stack on top of the others or the smaller container can sit in the lid that's there. Here is near enough to the container that I was looking for. I was looking for just a square lid, but this is at least round, again, from Savers, $4.99. But I was looking for this type of lid. I'm hoping that this will be perfect for rice cakes. It's about the size of my hand. So let's see if this does the job. Went to Savers and got a couple of things. First is this metal container. It was $4. It's originally from Ikea. I, so I don't know what the cost is from Ikea, probably like $3 or something. But this matches the other one that I have when I do homemade ice cream. So now we'll be able to have two identical containers. So it was the whole purpose, purpose of purchasing this so they can freeze equally in the freezer. And then I have it there ready to go because I am not getting near Ikea anytime soon. Then I picked up four ink pads for a dollar each. We have a Sahara Sand, Sage, Pink Petunia, Turquoise Gem. To add to the scrapbooking collection that I still haven't really done anything with, but yes. <laughs> we will get there one day. I also saw this box sitting in the craft area and I thought if something's in a box it's usually good and then when I opened it up I was pleasantly surprised that is an envelope punching board so it's from stamping up originally this was four dollars and this in spotlight is normally 35 dollars so I'm so happy um it was wrapped in the bubble wrap I've just taken it out there's an instruction manual and underneath there's a template with some other papers that people have put there. So I have been watching and wanting one of these for such a long time. So I'm excited for this find. And the last thing that I got from Save the Children was this workout top. And it was seven dollars it says it's a size 18 but it's the circuit brand which i'm pretty sure is big w so i grabbed it because i know that it's going to fit me i'm always after workout tops and on average these are about ten dollars at big w it just kind of depends but either way it looks brand new so i'm super happy for this find let me know what your favorite thing was that i picked up from these hauls it took weeks and weeks and weeks to get this little collection together. I haven't been shopping for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I probably won't go again now for a long time as well. I feel like I have collected enough stuff. Now I need to get active and actually put them to good use. Let me know what you enjoyed the most down below. And what op shops are near you and where do you go? And what's the best thing that you found at an op shop? Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.